Cinema 5D at IBC 2017 is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Zeiss, turning imagination into a motion picture. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hi, this is Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Jeremy from Atomos. Jeremy, nice to see you again. Good How are you? Good to see you. you. Very good, I'm very good. And you have a couple of new products. Yeah. But also something nice to give for people for free. Yes. But let's start with the products first. Just a quick rundown of what you have in IBC 2000. Okay, so, so, so two things like our, um, our play into the larger monitor, leveraging our um, monitor recorder technology in 7 and 5 inch and moving up. So we released the Sumo 19 at NAB and shipped it in June. We've released Sumo 19M, which is a monitor only version. We took out the recording, that saves $500. We don't need XLR audio because we're not recording. We don't need speakers in it to play it back because there's no recording in it. And the panel is exactly the exactly same? Exactly the same, everything's the same. It's HDR 1200 nit. It's got three selectable inputs of HDMI 2.0, SDI 12 gig by two. So those things are really important for matching what's there today. And this is a $2,000 monitor that gets you into HDR. It maps BT2020 DCI-P3 perfectly to a Rec. 709 panel. And we support all the log formats. So that's a very powerful tool. And then we've moved all of the operating system functions for monitoring right up front, like buttons on the screen. Okay, so the user interface is, has uh, changed. Is a, has because changed. there's no record and play anymore. So I was like, what do we do with that? So we moved everything up um, to the top end, the to the top of the display, the time code, the audio level meters, etc. And down the bottom we put one touch function, two to one zoom, waveform, peaking, etc. All right there. So it emulates what the current Sony Panasonic monitors that are used in that space does, but you get all the new things of an Atomos monitor recorder. It's 4K60 and all the latest support for um, the inputs and outputs. And you also have a new family, or actually it's an older family that you brought back to the high... Correct. To, 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 yeah. Back to life, yeah. Back to life, back to life. And those are different type of conversions, am I right? That's correct. Um, we've been working heavily on super reliable, we put a three-year warranty behind them, and we do everything. They're USB powered, they're locking connectors, their ears are removable. We have scaling and frame rate conversion where no one else has it at the price points at a BMD price point with AJ quality with a longer warranty. That's what we've done and we've got 15 converters and the leading converters in there are our 4K P60 with 12 gig inputs with HDMI 2.0 to get you into that. They're 595 but they have a very special feature. Not only the scaling and frame rate conversion, they have on-screen display for waveform, audio level meters and time code, which means you can turn a Dell monitor at 4K60 into a production monitor. Now that's huge for 4K, we can also downscale and we can multi-view onto uh, with four quad link inputs. Nice. Um, and you're also giving something for free. Yes. For actually everyone. What is it? Well, as you know, um, we've got we like the video community and we want to give things that make life simpler. It's not easy to shoot, right? You know that. Um, and there's a lot of questions surrounding technology and how to utilize it. And we really love HDR. You know that we've been a big supporter of it from the beginning. Our panels have been doing it for a year and a half. But the workflow isn't there yet. So there's, there's two things that we've, that we've done. We, we have increased our Atomos open protocol that we give to everyone for trigger and time code, you know, the ones we built with the camera makers. In HD world, we've moved it to 4K and HDR so that if they're sending PQ or S-Log to us, we know and we can automatically switch to that. But the thing you're talking about is on the other side. We take though that information that we know, like PQ or HLG or S-Log, and we embed it into our ProRes file. And we did that with a company called Google. And that division is YouTube. YouTube HDR 4K, they announced and, and is shipping now, you know, it's up there, ready, you can upload uh, videos to it, but what do you upload? People don't know what to upload. They don't know what format they need to upload. So what we've done is put in our file... A, a flick a, or... Yeah, a, a flag that YouTube defined with us. So our ProRes file, you go upload, and YouTube encoded into their H.265, they read our flag, and they turn it into PQ and HLG and embed that into that file. So when you play it back on a TV or a monitor, if it's HDR capable, it will play in the right mode. Nice, so actually people can um, show their customers or whatever, I mean, they, can, they can show the strength of HDR. Correct. But uh, not everybody going straight from camera 
to, to YouTube. Yes, yes. If I'm editing, yes. what is my solution and if I still want actually to not to lose the flag part? So the, as long as you're using our files, they will stay through the edit. Especially in Final Cut, I'm pretty sure in Adobe, but we haven't done extensive testing with them, so watch this space. Maybe we can follow up on that after for the users. And we do have the same capability in um, Avid coming. We're just defining with Avid where that needs to stay so that they can pass it through. So it, it's in there now to take our footage and upload it after doing some cut editing. Final Cut definitely supports it. Um, and the other guys, I'm sure, will want to support it because it's such a great feature going into direct to YouTube. Jeremy, as always, it's nice to talk to you and those new capabilities for filmmakers, it's always exciting to hear. And thank you very much for watching.